with food production now at a decent level at the food processing plants near Concord. We have food going from multiple farms in and around the Concord, Norwalk and New York City area and food being supplied both to Concord and New York City. Our focus now turns on taking a look at the vehicles that we currently have across all routes, passenger and freight, rail or road, and seeing if we can improve each one of those vehicles to maximize the efficiency that we have on our current route with the current number of vehicles. That way we can see exactly where we need to improve and where we need to expand further. All that and more coming up in this episode of Transports Fever 2. Okay, so the date is the 29th of August, 1903. We are looking to improve a number of things that we have. So our food production, our food production facilities have been improved. However, as you can see, these ones here are not always completely full. This thing is literally waiting. So what I am planning to do is save some money on these routes we have two trains and only two trains and what i'm going to do is manage these two vehicles and edit them slightly as you can see that gives us a million back and that is the kind of thing that we are going to be doing in this video so that is going to be that's the first improvement right there we're going to take a look at each one of these ensure that all of these are not managed line. In fact, there's an easier way of doing this. Let's do this. Let us start with uh, route. Let's go for route. Let us go for road lines only. We're going to start from the top. We'll have this in alphabetical order. We're going to start from the top and work our way down and see what we can improve. So let's start over with a Baltimore bricks that is over here and you can see the route that it currently goes around so it just goes over there around there and then right back to where it started Baltimore bricks currently is running with these so these are something that need to immediately change so let's go ahead and replace them with steam flatbed trucks all of them have been replaced and we're going to make sure that the maintenance is very high on them. In addition to that, it looks like we may not require as many of these trucks as we currently have. So that is something that we need to take a look at. But I, I shall see, we shall have to come back to checking that one. Next up we have Concord Food, that has already been taken care of. So I can click that, click Manage Vehicles, and all I need to do is make sure that the maintenance is very high. It is. Concord Machines is next. That is also very high. That has been sorted. Miami Food has not. Let's go over to Miami and see what we can do with this. So Miami Food is currently running on these. These old-fashioned wagons. Let's go ahead and upgrade those. So we'll go ahead and replace them with... I think all cargo is the one we want and pop the maintenance as very high. Miami Fuel is also running, in fact Miami Fuel is running exactly what I need it to run. So that is absolutely fine, great. Next up, New York Food. New York Food is one of the new lines. I just cloned them, that was a really bad idea. That was a really, really bad idea. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to sell this lot then. There we go. Whoops. There we have it. That was a mistake. Baltimore bricks. There needs to be a there needs to be a, a button to confirm that. Are you sure you want to duplicate all of these? Because we are going to buy and spend a lot of money. I mean, imagine if that was six or seven trains and I clicked the wrong button there. That would have been interesting. Baltimore Trains is in a very, very bad condition. That is uh, this one right here. As you can see, it does not carry 
as much as perhaps it, it should. So we need to look at increasing the perhaps either the speed of this train or somehow trying to figure out how to increase the number of bricks being produced that go to Baltimore because there is no percentage scale and you can see here for Norwalk we have got a lot in the meantime this is doing everything it can this is taking in everything it potentially can so what we really should be doing is managing this vehicle and replacing it and it is currently a 280 Baldwin class 56 37 miles per hour top speed I think we can go for um, the 260 mogul more tractive effort it's only very slightly more emissions and we can run that all the way until 1935 which is probably when I shall be running it until I shall also give this a ugly lick of brown paint it's not really that ugly and I will go ahead and we've got 14 of these flat car with side states that is those ones there that run till 1950 we are going to replace them with these one two three four how much can this thing carry uh, 28 plus 98 let's go for 72 and there we have it we now have a newer train does not look as pretty but it is a newer train and we should be able to load up a fair amount more on this and hopefully that's loaded up 45 or 48 now the plan here is that should be able to load up everything it should run a little bit faster which means that perhaps this thing will decide to place more here particularly as it keeps placing on this where it is not running all too well okay so that is what if we do oh that was all of them right oh, okay fine let's just go through it like that then a uh, coal mine run now let's let's stick with this baltimore zero one and zero two okay both of these need to be replaced and improved in efficiency you can see the amount of people waiting there so baltimore zero one manage vehicles replace them with the Mac maintenance high and do not forget to color them coloring them is highly important coloring them the right color is probably even more important Baltimore 02 we're going to do the exact same thing it is the Mac with a darker color and there we go maintenance is now improved so we now have these max roaming around everywhere now given that in other places in Baltimore we do not have or oh, it just does not look like there are that many people waiting it's just this one I think we could use the max and increase or change the bus routes around to give us a longer duration by doing that we can perhaps have more people waiting around these areas that we can bring in to the station improving the amount of people or the throughput on the station so that is the plan but right now as i said we're just looking to improve the efficiency oh sorry not the efficiency but the i suppose actually it is the efficiency of the line this isn't the efficiency if they're empty uh, there is a word i'm looking for i'm just trying to figure out that word and putting in filler all in the meantime oh get the word shortly uh, let's go ahead and manage this one the word i'm looking for it's coming to me I'll be there in a moment. Um, Modernisation. There you go. That's that's the word I'm using. Modernisation. Concord is fine. Um, just going to ensure that not that these are on very high. They are on very high. Concord zero two also on very high. Huntsville. Here we go. Huntsville is going to require some updating there we go now Huntsville does seem to be making money as you can see but I think in modernizing this we should be able to get a lot more going in and around
There we go. And we shall do the same for uh, this one. Modernization. Right there. High maintenance. Job done. So let's see how Huntsville reacts to things like that. Miami. Ah, now Miami has a lot and I think, I mean you can see how busy it is and you can see that there are other places now that we really should be taking these routes. So what we're going to have to do is work on figuring out different different lines for the route and, and working from there. However, for now all we need to do is again upgrade these all to max. Very high. Paint it red, not that red, that's red, and let's go ahead and do the same for Miami. Can we pick all of these up? We can as well. Why don't we just do the city at a time? Replace. And then all we do is just uh, actually leave those selected, change those all to very high, and then colour them individually. That is probably an easier way to do things. I think that is a much, much easier way to do things. Why didn't I think of that before? Um, right, Miami does tend to lose money. We'll have to work on that. Muriate is certainly making money. And some max in this area might, might be pretty useful. I should probably make a road going all the way down to Concord from here. I might do that at some point. And the Mac it is, New Haven. New Haven certainly making money. Let's grab both. And New, New Haven is really busy. Okay, that is interesting. So let's go ahead and replace New Haven's ones. That costs about one one and a half million. And amazingly, the colours have also remained, which is great. Let's see if that manages to clear this this backlog out. Because that is, that is a lot going on. New Orleans, also making money. New Orleans 01 anyway, let's see, 0202 02 does not make money. There isn't much in the way of traffic over here, but traffic, uh, queues, passenger, throughput, something, words. I'm having difficulty today, it seems. But I am going to go ahead and upgrade this regardless as part of the modernization procedure. New York. New York is unique, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. I've got to figure out how to say that. Uh, we can upgrade New York because New York is on the uh, up. I suppose we are, we are working towards improving that. Newport is another one we need to do the same to. Newport is interesting because we now have all this extra area that we can start building routes around and Newport only has a single bus route. But again, I need to, and it has very, very old. Wow. Okay. This is going to be interesting when I upgrade this. You guys are all now suddenly been modernized. New, I think Newport is going to need a new one. Uh, it's going to need a new route. Right, so we have two in Norwalk, both of which do make money. Uh, new Norwalk 01 makes a lot more than 02, but that's okay, and it has managed to retain colours as well, so that is quite useful. Okay, Oceanside. Right, at this point, I wonder if I can just grab... Let's just grab all of these. Let's grab all of these and just see what happens if I do that and put that to very high. Ah, there you go. That one did not change colour. That one is fine. That one is fine. That one is fine. Okay, surprise! Ah, St. Paul, there we go. I was going to say, surprisingly, the rest of them did. Right, so we now have replacements for all our road vehicles. That is all done. Where was it that we were we were having the difficulty with the... Was it New Haven that had a lot of people? 
Let's see if I can help combat this. 71. 52. Okay, let's see if that can be combated somehow. Let's go to 1904 before we continue with this and see, see what we've got. Because that is a lot of people all the way around. So that's something to, to be concerned about at this point in time. Who's that? What's that on? It's That's 0, 2. That is 0, 1. That is 0, 1. And that is 0, 2. It's not much there. Okay, fine. But I think we should be able to manage this. I mean, it's already starting to reduce here. Sort of. And they are... Sort of. It's definitely reducing there. Definitely reducing there. And it looks like some of the houses are upgrading. Which is, which is always a good thing. Let's see, what's our, what's our population like? 430 is what it's headed to. New Haven has really grown very quickly. Okay, this is certainly looking somewhat, somewhat positive. Now, what, at least a little bit, a little bit better. So, that is everything done with the, with the road vehicles. Uh, Miami, are you are you any better? You are not. Oh no, wait, you are better there. You are no better here. Please tell me you're you're coming along to pick up uh, a load of these people. No, apparently not. Do these two knots go in the same direction? Mm. No, no, apparently they do they. Miami zero 02, Miami zero 03 goes straight. Right, okay, so people want to be going this way. I see. They pro they probably want to be heading directly to the station, so that explains what, what the busyness is there. What is your excuse here, though? I see no reason for this. Miami 2 goes there. Miami 4 goes there. So surely there should be an even spread, unless people want to be going out this way. Okay, but we are st starting to cope with it and starting to to manage. There are vehicles now arriving. Uh, let's go ahead and slow this down once again. There are now road vehicles, private vehicles on the road. As you can see, look at this person. Who are you? Sebastian Edwards, driving to an industrial industrial building. Um, why aren't you taking one of my buses? They are golden. Well, actually, they're red, but... Yeah. Moving on. Let's see what we can do with the railways now. That is our next step. So, going to... That's trams. Going to the railways. Baltimore bricks we have already sorted. In fact, is that running any better? That is the question. It has 43. It isn't it isn't running any better than it was. It really isn't. Coal mine run, here we go. McAllen. Now this is where things are going to get interesting. Because Um This is all going to relate to what other trains can pick up and if they cannot write if they cannot pick up the right things this is not going to work so where are those trains see this this is not going to work if these trains cannot do See, that's got 84 of 84. And the train on its way back is... Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Oh, you're only leaving the yard now. And by the time that makes it back here, we're going to have more than 84 waiting. So... That is interesting. 
that is going to be very interesting that is something to, something to think about we've done this one that's one's been changed we've done that one we've done that one yeah iron mine we cannot touch miami food perhaps we can do something with this particular one which one is the miami food one that's this line is there anything we could we could do with you Perhaps you carry less food, but more often? That, that could be a possibility. Let's manage the vehicles on here. Pull up one of them so we know we know what, what we have, which is a 280 Baldwin, okay. And I would be moving it on to a 260 Mogul. That is essentially the one I would be moving it on to this thing can carry 98 i would make it potentially carry let's say 60 it can carry 60 to and fro to and fro that might be better it might be it might be a more suitable amount to carry it'll shorten up the amount of time that it's waiting i feel like that is worth the risk let's go ahead and find out where the other train is Let's do it. Right, so you are now going with 60. Now, you guys are mostly empty anyway. So, that is a much shorter train now. Well, I need to see how this works in, in practice. Before, before we continue, I need to see how this is going to work in practice. As I said, it's all about optimization. That's the word I was looking for. Not efficiency. Optimizing and having planning for the future so i know things are going to grow i know things are going to you, there's going to be more so this thing has already picked up 24. so this is good because this thing could happily pick up i mean that's on a six where why are you waiting go leave i don't want you here that's currently has 34 and it has stopped However, we could look at, what if I started bringing in food from there? Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's focus on this. Is this going to leave and give us a better overall supply? I think it might. I really think it might. Well, that's just left with 34, so you're useless. But that being said, I did mess up some of that plan. So it is partially my fault, and uh, I think I can, I can fix that. Let's continue with. Let's stay here and continue with this because we're still looking at the Miami fuel, Miami food farming run. Why do I not have? Who are you? Oh, farming run. There it is. You're 21 years old. That needs to be fixed. Right. Let's see what we have available for you. No let's see what we have available for you replacement steam moguls also in this color that's too bright also in this color uh cargo state cars gondolas that's the one i'm after you carry 12 which is 84. what if i replaced you with 72 but faster 72 but faster how would you would you be happy let's do 72 but faster these things are a lot shorter suddenly as well these things are very very much shorter that's got 60 60 of 60 and it's already underway and another train's coming back oh it's a race of the trains well you lost and you're carrying 65 so out of 72 these things can carry 72 you're carrying 65 this has already got seven that's going to come in it is going to make another 32 that's going to give us 40 in total well, i think it might make 33 so it will give us 39 or 40 in total that's one's already on its way there is another one coming back 
How are you doing? 65? I think we might have found a sweet spot here. 60. I think we might have just about found the sweet spots for this. And we could make them wait until each and every one of them is, um... What are you waiting for? Go, go, go. 39 or 48. See, I could actually have this waiting longer now. But, given that this train's about to drop that off, there we go. Now we should end up with a full train. Because each one of these should make 30. That's the theory, then. Each one of these should make 30. That is now... And that's full. Off you go. So this thing will still have some, some to wait for, which is fine. I think I think this could could potentially work here. Let's continue with. So whilst that's doing whatever it needs to do, I'll slow that down. We'll we'll keep an eye on how that has an effect over here. At the moment, the effect is not positive. Moving on from that, we are going to ignore the iron mine ones. I think that is a special one we have to look at. Miami Fuel, however. Miami Fuel. That is one we can improve. But at the moment... What do we have? What is this carrying? 44. How much is... Is this still working at it? It is sort of working at it. I'm guessing this could probably do 70 maximum. What do you carry? 105. I do not mind upgrading you to... You're a class 56. I do not mind upgrading you to be able to carry that sort of load as well. There we go. And we'll go for some tank cars. And do not forget, you always, always have the multiple colour tank cars. They, they just look good. They really look good when they are various different colours. Uh, blue. A couple of grey. I'll get rid of that one. And I'll tell you what, I'll get rid of that. I'll leave two of those. That goes there, that goes there. And I will end it with a deep red one. That's 120 it can carry. That's 137 meters. What is its current uh, uh, length? 158 meters. I'll take it. 120. 6 million changed. Hello. Brand new train. Oh, I should make these. I haven't been doing that, have I? Maintenance. No, that's not maintenance. Maintenance is next to it. Maintenance. High. Okay, now, to compensate for that, which this is just loaded up, what? That's 52, and it's off and on its way. Right, to compensate for that train being faster, and for this being absolutely overloaded, I think we need to improve each one of these trains. Now, these are 440 generals. That are how long? 110 meters, so we can go for 120 meters on something. And let's see how far we can improve these. So they are the generals, 28 miles per hour. We can double the speed of them to 47 miles per hour and give them the same amount um, of oil being transported. I think that sounds logical to me. That sounds really quite logical. Let's quickly change this though because we've got these coming along. Right, I want these all to be a specific colour, so I know that these are a specific line. Let's make them all a light grey. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 84, 96, what's their current capacity? Uh, 70, 70, 70. Well, okay. 84. Go for it. That's a shorter train. Shorter but faster train. 
Let's see how that handles anything. I want to see how that handles this, this sort of setup. There's the 84. Off you go. I mean, that might... I think that might be a lot better. It's just, we've doubled the speed, so... Yes, I know we've doubled the speed, but acceleration-wise, taking that into account, we've probably improved it by about 30 to 35%. Um, taking a look at the capacity, though, so 30 to 35% increase in capacity, we're probably looking at about a 40 to 45% improvement upon this line. Which is fairly important, I think. So let's see, this is going to be a prime example here. This is our, our choke point. This is where we always have the bottleneck, is getting the fuel from there to here effectively or efficiently. So let us see if that improves. And we're at 70 right now. But that could have just been a good run. We have to watch this for a few moments. Right, now we're on a brand new run. Let's uh, see what we get out of it. So we're going to get another 22, 20 there, and we've got 30. So we're going to get 36. That is what those things are bringing in. That one is bringing in 37. Currently has 14. So perhaps we need to work on, work on that. That train's got 24, that isn't a lot. This has made 43 so far, is that train coming back yet? That train is now on its way back, I can see it. There it is. Chasing, racing along with another one. Okay, we are now at 72. That's better than we've had, now we're going to... Right, okay, this is working, look. At this point, we are going to go up to above 90, I think. This thing should take just over 90 when it's on its way back. 91. Good. 91, and we've got two spare. That's progress. That is progress, and I think it just still manages to keep it within the boundaries of things being... Oops, over here. Handled. And look at that. We do not have overflow here anymore. That is probably the really, really important part, which means that we are actually taking up all that demand. That may cause us problems later on, but for now, I think we are in a fairly good position to, to work forward from here. And we're in a good position over here as well. So continuing on with that, we're going to ignore the plank run because all of this has got to do with that single setup. Uh, the wood run, the quarry run is probably not one that's got to do with it. So how are we looking at the quarry? We're here with trains that for some reason are not full. Interesting. What trains are we running here? We are running... Baldwins. So let's go ahead and replace those. So we'll go ahead and turn those into the deep green. There's that green, was it? That green. I'll go ahead and swap them out into the moguls. And we're looking for gondolas here. Uh, let's go for grey ones. One, two, three, four, five. What are you carrying? 98 maximum. Um... Let's say 96 is your new maximum, but you run faster. There you go. Faster trains, shorter trains, with a with a slightly lower maximum, which I think is going to be the interesting part. But I think it might help. So that's a full train gone, done and dusted. I do not know why you're waiting. Go. 96. 
By the time that train returns, we may actually have another 96 waiting here, which is good. So that that is balanced out. That might be all we need on that. The Grand Mountaineer. Oh, those trains. We do make money on it, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to upgrade those trains just yet. They seem to be doing fairly fine. Um... Oh, quarry run, wait a minute. Manage vehicles. Maintenance, very high. Did that manage to take every... Yep, there you go, there's 96. It is working. Right, Miami-Newport commuter. That is the main line. This is rather old. These trains are rather old now, as you can see. I think it's about time they did get replaced. So let's go ahead and replace them. We are going to be putting on... Ooh, 10 wheelers or Atlantics. Well, well, well. Let's put 10 wheelers on this. In a deep red. Deep red 10 wheelers. Coupled with... Not red. Um, what was the original colour on these? Brown. Can I put white ones? Nice white colour. And that's 80. These ones carry 80 as well. So same capacity, much faster. That is the that is the big change. I think that is logical. We should go watch one of these. There we go. And they are the same length as the other ones. So we have a I'm kind of tempting to just pause this just here, just to take a picture of these. Two trains from two different lines for the for the thumbnail potentially. Yeah, let's see. That's that's a good thumbnail. That there is a really really nice thumbnail. Okay, go on off you go. Okay, where were we? We were we were. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, we have the New York Laredo line. Of course, this line, the one where it is ridiculously busy for some bizarre reason. I do not understand what what the whole idea is. Oceanside is... Oceanside has shocked me massively. Everybody just wants to leave Oceanside, it seems. So we are going to upgrade this particular line as well. And funnily enough, I guess we've got no choice but to... Upgrade this with the 10 wheelers. They will be a light, a nice light blue color. Not quite that light blue. There we go. That color. And we'll go ahead and make the. Oh, now this is interesting. What would happen if I made the train the that blue as well? Now, what if I made those black? Now they have three. These currently have 48. This is 60. And they're faster. I think this is going to be good for us. That's my replacement for these. There you go. That's it. Oh, those, those black carriages with the blue train look amazingly good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Black carriages, blue train. Okay, so the only thing that we need to worry about is getting stuck with these trains everywhere. Now, I think we should probably upgrade these trains as well. Let's go ahead and do that. But these trains are going to have a change. So these ones are moguls already. We are going to change them out for this uh, deep green 10-wheelers. And they carry... 48 passengers maximum. They're actually going to reduce in the number of passengers they carry. Uh, I'll actually have that as well. Only 40 passengers. But much faster trains. So these are smaller but faster trains. And that is going to be my new... These are essentially what branch line trains will always end up being. That is, that is the plan on these. So let's go ahead and fast forward and see what our changes work to, or what our changes all amount to, to end this episode off. 
and I think they're going to be quite good. As I said, we've got to work on that steel run wood, you know, the whole that one. Um, but that is going to be something for the next episode because I think we have a fair amount that I need to do to work on that. Look at that. That looks really cool. It's a th three carriage train. There's a four carriage train pulling in. Where's the two carriage train? Here comes a two carriage train. That is so awesome. That is really, really awesome. There you go, there's a two carriage train pulled in. I think I think we I've done a fairly decent job here. I think we've got We've got progress. Let's quickly have a look to make sure places like New Haven are alright. And what do you know? They are fairly alright now. Reno, how are you doing? Alright as well. Huntsville, everything seems to be going well. Springfield. Busy at the station, but nothing that it cannot handle. The city is growing quite nicely. 447 at the moment. Port St. Lucie, how are you doing? Also okay. Santa Ana. Also doing fairly well. I'm quite happy with that. Miami. Still struggling here, but not as badly as before. And this has managed to clear itself out, as has this. So, progress being made in all directions there. 725 on the pass uh, on the population. Laredo, we still have to work on a few things here. Oh dear. Pause. What has gone on here? Uh... Right, what has gone on is that the platform in Laredo is too small. Okay, well, to throw you out just a little bit, let's go ahead and do that. All right, let you, right, uh, go on, out you go, and then I'm going to pause this. Um, I will rebuild the track and start doing my outro. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. There we go. That is the warning sorted. Perfect. That's a uh, disaster averted. You can see that the trains are just slightly, slightly too long for this particular platform. But that is something that we can sort out at a later date. That is all from me. And I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever 2, where hopefully we'll be looking to upgrade things even further. And we're going to start by looking over at the old steel production making sure that we can get the right amount of steel in and we are not running out of goods. Look at this, this is all working really, really quite well. I'll see you guys next time.